Let's go to Andrew and see if we can help him. He says, uh, I attempted to install 11.5 on a 2017 MacBook Pro. After it seemed to reboot, it became stuck in a cycle that automatically rebooted and took me to recovery mode. Uh, in other words, it won't boot to the login credential screen and any attempt from recovery mode or holding down the option key at boot and choosing the volume just eventually reboots back into recovery mode. The only error I recall is that seeing that user data could not be migrated. Okay, fair. Uh, this sounds sort of bad, and I wondered how I can rectify this situation. Also, it won't allow me to reinstall from recovery mode as after reboot, it's still stuck going to recovery mode as well. Okay, so um, yeah, it seems like your user data is either missing or corrupted in a way that when the OS try, remember before we were talking earlier in the episode, we were talking about how the system partition and the user partition are separate. And so the system partition seems like it's fine. The recovery partition also seems like it's fine, but when it starts to touch the user partition, it hits a wall and comes back. So something out there is not good. Uh, you've effectively confirmed that by using the recovery partition to reinstall what's on the system partition. And the same thing happens. So, definitely points to errors on the user partition. And of course, that's what you saw at some point with your, um, with, with this installation. So what I would do if I were there, which is generally the way I approach any kind of question that we get, uh, what I would do next is I would back up the user data off of that volume. You might have to use target disk mode to do this, but get whatever you can. If you already have a clone of that, great. Then you don't need to worry about trying to figure it out. You're already good. Uh, but get that backup somewhere on a on a drive that is easily plugged into this machine and then using recovery mode don't just reinstall the os erase the uh the the volume and reinstall a clean os onto it that will also erase the data volume right from there it should boot up like a brand new uh, operating system because you've blown away the data volume uh, and the system volume but then you've reinstalled it would be nice if we could do what Dr. Mack was telling us before in the episode, right? To just blow away the data volume. Um, and maybe this is a good opportunity to experiment with that. Uh, but whatever, you're, you know, get to the point where you don't have a data volume anymore and the system is forced to recreate it. Uh, usually that's part of also blowing away the installation. Maybe that changes in Monterey. Maybe there's other ways to do it, but that's how I would do it. Blow it away, reinstall the OS with recovery mode. And then, uh, at that point, I would say feel free to try using Migration Assistant from the backup that you have from the other drive, slurping in all your data. Hopefully, whatever's wrong will be overlooked by Migration Assistant at that point, and it'll just pull in whatever it can and leave you w with hopefully a very uh, you know capable and working machine. That's what I would do.